What's up everybody? Welcome to Hike Life. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about clothing, what to wear when you're out on the trail. Uh, last week we talked about base layers and what you wear at your core and this week I figured we'd talk a little bit about some of the clothing that we wear. So uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Roll intro and let's get going. <laughs> Last week we talked about base layers and the importance of why and when you bring base layers out on the trail and why you wear them. Uh, this week we're talking about clothing in general, what to wear when you're hiking, uh, when you're out on the trail for three seasons. For spring, summer, and fall you want to bring these items uh, so that way you know that you can stay warm while you're out on the trail. We're going to start from the bottom and work our way up. Uh, obviously this is excluding base layers because we've already covered those in a previous video which I will link right here or here. So starting from the bottom I always bring a nice pair of wool socks. These socks are going to wick moisture away from your feet. They're going to keep your feet warm in cold situations but they're also going to keep them dry. And what I do is I rotate between two pair of socks for a four or five day trip. I will bring this pair on my feet. These are darn tough socks, which I will link in the description. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. Um, by the way, if you buy these socks, I now get a small percentage, um, and I'm not just putting them on there for you to buy them. They actually are darn tough, and they're really great socks, and I wouldn't leave home without them. So, darn tough socks. I always bring another pair of socks that are usually a wool synthetic blend, and what I'll do is I'll change in the, those at night. I'll try to wear these as much as I possibly can throughout the whole trip. They will definitely be wet at the end of a hike, so what I do is I put them in the pants leg of my pocket uh, when I sleep. So basically what that does is it allows my body heat to warm the socks and dry them out. So two pair of socks per trip. Some people bring three. It depends on you. It depends on your feet. You have to know your situation. So once the socks are there, of course I have the base layer pants on, and over top of that I usually have a nice zip-off pant. Uh, this is a pair from North Face. You can get them at you can get REI pants, North Face pants, or Columbia, but these zip off so that they work as a dual purpose. I try to find that most items that I bring on the trail have to have two or three purposes. These are for shorts, or they can be for long pants. So normally what I'll do is I'll hike with them in shorts during the day, and then I will turn them into pants at night and sleep with them uh, if I'm not wearing a base layer. If I'm wearing a base layer, you just usually just get down to that nitty gritty and go down to the base and sleep in that. So for the pants, I usually bring something with a nice pocket. I usually bring something that has a, a zippable pocket that's closed and enclosed pocket so I don't lose certain items out on the trail. Uh, but these are a nice pair of hiking pants. You can find them at any local retailer. Working your way up from there, I will have a, a base layer shirt on and then I usually have over top of that base layer shirt a synthetic t-shirt. I will not wear a cotton t-shirt. The reason why is when it gets wet, it takes forever to dry. You will probably get hypothermia or have a chill on you all night long. So you want to wear something that will dry quickly. Remember, your body heat is like a little oven. So it will dry this clothing out very quickly. So make sure you use synthetic. This one happens to be 90% polyester and 10% spandex. So it has a little bit of stretch to it and it does dry fairly quickly out on the trail. So over top of my base layer, then a t-shirt. This is mostly for spring and fall. If I'm just in the summertime, I'll just wear the t-shirt and then I'll bring a stretch shirt, kind of like the one I'm wearing for summer <clears throat> with me. But in the winter time, I bring a little bit heavier one. This is a Columbia, uh, I think it's called an Omni Heat. Yeah, it is. It's a Columbia Omni Heat. And I will put the link in the description. This one happens to have a shiny interior. So you can see here, it kind of has a reflective shiny. And this reflects the warmth back to you again. Uh, and this is a, a, to keep you warm. Uh, you can turn it inside out and look pretty fancy as well. You go, girl. And this one is just a little half zip. It zips up from here and down to there so you can get in and out of it easily. This one has thumb holes in it so that you can put your thumbs, uh, keep your hands warm while you're hiking. So basically uh, a stretch shirt from Columbia. Over top of that, I will have a basic fleece. 
this fleece will basically keep trap the heat in. So what that, that stretch shirt is doing is wicking the moisture away from your body while this is trapping your heat in. So this is a good insulator uh, for your top hat. So now we've covered the basis of what you're wearing on your body. Uh, let's talk about some of the other layers and other things that you would wear. Um, so obviously on you're going to have a jacket. So normally what my routine is, is it's, t it's base layer, t-shirt, stretch shirt, fleece. This sounds like a lot and it probably will be for most of your trips, but like I said, you wanna have at least some of these variables. So normally on a summer trip, I'll at least have a t-shirt and a stretch shirt and I always bring a down jacket. That's probably overkill, but I always bring it. So I recommend putting a down jacket in your bag at all times. Summer, winter, fall. This one is the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer and it weighs seven ounces. So for under half a pound to bring a something as insulated as this, it is well worth it. What's great about this Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer is that it has a pocket that has a little zipper in it. Uh, so you can stow away, and it says stow right there on it. You can stow away in your pocket. So this actually goes right inside of itself, just like this, very quickly too and very easily. And this makes for an excellent pillow. Um, I, I don't bring a pillow because I sleep in a hammock and I don't always need it, but this down jacket, if I'm not wearing it at night, makes for an excellent pillow. So I just curl up with it right there. I've got a, an Insta pillow right in my bag. And this is usually how I carry it around. Sometimes I put it in a waterproof stuff, stuff sack, but uh, basically that's it. So there is your, your down jacket. With the down, sometimes I bring a down hat. These things look ridiculous, but they really, really work well. They trap in heat. So if it's going to be colder weather, I'll have this down hat. This thing weighs under an ounce. I think it's actually like half an ounce. So to throw this, this hat in my bag for half an ounce, uh, there's some mornings that you wake up in the spring, summer, and fall, you just wanna have a warm hat on. Even if you look ridiculous, it still keeps you warm, worth it. I mean, this look at it, it floats. Watch this thing, it actually floats. All right, so if I'm not bringing the ultralight hat, it's a little colder, I'll bring a more insulated, this one happens to have a fleece liner from Columbia, I'll bring a more insulated hat on top of that. Uh, and then under that hat will go a balaclava, I believe is how you call these things, or a ninja mask. It's way cooler to call it a ninja mask. This one is merino wool, so it's a merino wool ninja mask. And uh, your head just basically goes in there, and uh, yeah, it keeps your ears, your chin warm. With that, I will also bring gloves. These are wool gloves, but they're possum wool. These are actually from Z-Packs. Uh, I, do not, I do not have any affiliation with them, so I won't be putting a link on, but you can go to Z-Packs website. They weigh an ounce for both of them, so it's pretty nice to have a nice pair of warm gloves. I usually bring two pair of gloves, by the way. I forgot to bring the other ones. I bring a pair of very, very light neoprene work gloves that will go over top of these uh, if it's in a very cold situation, or these are the ones that I just kind of keep in my pocket uh, while I'm around camp. Okay, so we've got everything except for rain gear. Some people bring rain pants. I personally don't. I use the pants that I have on, and if it's really raining hard, I'll zip them off even in cold weather and protect the, the bottom part because they'll always get wet. Or I'll have gaiters on, uh, and those will protect your feet. Any winter or rain trip, I'll usually have gaiters on because it protects your shoes, your socks, and your lower part of your pants. And if there's any sticker bushes, I'm wearing gaiters. So look up gaiters. If you don't know what they are, I'll do a separate review on those. Rain gear. So I have this raincoat. It packs into itself, once again, its own little pocket. This is the Outdoor Research um, Helium 2. So I will go ahead and take this out of its little pouch. It's pretty easy. In case of a rain, it just pulls out. And uh, basically, this will protect you from rain in all situations. You, uh, you, you can use it as a windbreaker, you can use it as a raincoat, it will protect you. It is a, a wonderful item to have in your bag, weighing in at six ounces, totally worth it. I think they're like a right around $100 new, which is a pricey for a raincoat, but you can find them used for $50, $60. Um, so it does have one pocket here, it's the only pocket that it has. Hey look, I have something in there. Looks like I bought something that was 150 euro. Must have been in Portugal. Okay, so now that we've talked about rain gear, let's talk about wind gear. So, every once in a while I throw this in my bag. It's very light, it's three ounces. It's also a mountain hardware ghost whisper item. It's the ghost whisper 
light, I believe. But this one does not have the liner in it. So it's basically just a very, very light, very thin windbreaker. It can be used for light rain to keep the rain off of you, um, but it works really wonderfully as a glasses case. So what I do is since I have to wear glasses, I actually just put my glasses in here. So it doubles up as a glasses case, which weighs about the same as this jacket, uh, three ounces. Uh, and it also adds as an extra layer. I think I found this for $20 at the outlet store and it was totally worth it because I, when I need it, I need it. Um, I usually bring this as a summer jacket uh, instead of some of the other things, like I might not bring this fleece, but I'll bring this jacket instead. So it's a swap out for a seven or eight ounce fleece uh, for a three ounce jacket. So you're saving yourself a little bit of weight in the bag there. But this is kind of one of those items that I, I bring it and I almost hardly ever use it, but when I do, I'm happy that I have it with me. So overall, we just talked about a lot of different items of clothing, a lot of different things. And basically, um, I just wanted to talk about the most important, which is don't wear cotton. Wear anything synthetic, anything that can dry quickly, uh, that is the best option. If you're going lightweight, there are a lot of, lot of lightweight options. Just Google what's the best and lightweight option. I found that these articles of clothing work for me <clears throat> the best because I get kind of chilly out on the trail. There are times when you are just, there's just a breeze blowing through and you can't warm up and there's nothing worse than being out and about and not being able to warm up. So you want to have these items with you so that if that does happen, you feel safe, you're not worried or concerned in any way. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in to Hike Life. Hopefully this little video helped you understand what to wear when you're out on the trail. Uh, and don't forget your shoes because it's important to wear hiking boots or trail runners while you're out on the trail. Thank you so much. <laughs> we'll see you guys next Tuesday for Gear Review Tuesday. Uh, and I'm also going to try to bust out a couple vlogging videos here soon. I've got some in the making right now. It's just trying to find that time. Uh, hit those links up. Check out the description. Hit the links. You can buy any of the stuff on Amazon. And I get a small percentage for it. So please, this is my first time I've ever, I haven't made a single penny off of YouTube. So I've been doing all this for fun and I do enjoy it. And I love you guys for watching. Thank you so much. Peace.